Hi, my name is Joshua and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about what is new in Payload. This is part of a new experimental series where we will make a video every time Payload releases a new version and we will go through what is new, what it means for us and through little examples. Now, if this interests you, just stay subscribed to the channel and we will release more of these videos. Now, let's jump right in. The first feature that is new in version 3.50 that we're going to talk about is add hooks to restore version collection operation. What does this mean? I prepared here a little collection of articles and I activated the versions. If we create now a new version of an article, for example, here we are in the backend and I will go to this, well, a random article I created. We will change this a little bit and save it we created a new version of this article. Now, if we want to jump back to a previous version of the article, there have previously been no hooks to indicate that this is what happens. Now, if we restore this version, I click on confirm, we can see in our console, and you see I implemented here a before operation hook, a before change hook, before validation, after operation, and on a field level, you also get the before validation and the after uh, before change hook, you get now restore version operations and here we have restore version operation and we print the before validate and the before change and the after validate and at the end we get um, the after operation of the restore version so now we can track or you can build hooks that keep track of what version of, uh, of an article you are the second feature is adds trash support to the count operation. Now, what does this mean? Actually, shortly, we're going to release a video about the soft delete feature in payload. And this is part of that. Now, if you soft delete an element or an, art, uh, an article, for that, we also have to enable the trash. And we go online. We see we have here a list of articles, um, two articles, and we have a list in the, uh, of trashed articles where we have one which gives us a total of three articles. Now, if we want to know the number of all articles and payload, the payload API gives us this count, previously, all articles were counted whether they were trashed or not. Now, this is now fixed. If you just do count articles, payload.count collection article, you only get the non-trashed articles. If you also want the trashed articles, then you have to explicitly say, I also want trashed articles. Now, this is how that, ah, let's go to the front end really quick where this will be reflected. Yes, we have two articles and article count with trash is three. This article count feature is not only reflected in the local API, but also in the GraphQL API. So if you put here, trash is true then you get three and if we put it false and we run it then we get two articles or two documents and it also works in rest api we just have to add trash equals true which results to three or trash equals false which results in two documents now coming to the next point graphql allow to pass count true to join query now i was stunned for a second what does this even mean but this is actually not a new feature. This is kind of a bug, because, or this was a bug, because when you had a join field on a document, then previously, previously the payload document tail told you, if you add this count true to your query, you're gonna get a count of how many documents are in this join field. This was actually not yet implemented, so the payload team added this, and now it works, and you can query the number of your join or join documents also in GraphQL. And let's come to the last point really quick. Translation, finally, we have support for Indonesian. So if you want to see how this looks, let's go to the payload config. We import the Indonesian language file. We configure it in the supported language. ID is the shorthand. And if we go to our account page, we now can select Indonesian and voila, everything becomes incomprehensible. Now, that concludes this video for this update. I hope this was interesting to you. And if you want to stay on top of payload developments, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thank you.